raping women and beheading people, how can this represent Islam? Because today it's them, tomorrow could happen to anyone. I saw them and it was so clear because Hamas did a great job in filming everything with the GoPros. It was a clear picture, clear voice. We could hear them, you could hear the accent, you could understand what they're saying. As a Muslim woman, what you say to anyone sees a film and they deny that Hamas rape a woman? As a Muslim woman. You can't believe a woman saying, I got raped. And on the 7th of October, this happened in front of their families, in front of their children. And we are hearing them saying that, and they also don't accept it. I, I, I think those people don't want to accept anything, uh, either a slave or behe beheaded babies or beheaded soldiers or, or any other crime. They, they, they just don't want to accept it. But you know, it's a reality and it's happening. That's, that's sad. You actually also viewed the film edited from the footage of the Hamas GoPros. People saying, oh, there is no proof of this. There is no proof of that. Um, Israelis are photoshopping videos and photos. I saw the videos, people using the name of God, saying Allah is great, Allahu Akbar, and then killing uh, children in their pajamas and raping women and beheading people. How can this represent Islam? When you see Al Jazeera, some mm. YouTuber here, like Owen Jones, for example, mm. uh, so what you tell them as a Muslim mm. woman? It's as simple as that, shame on you. Because if you can't believe the woman just because she's Israeli and Jewish, that that's like shame on you because I can't imagine because today it's them tomorrow could happen to anyone uh, and we saw what's happening also to Muslim and Arabs Israeli so if you accept it because it's Israeli Jewish tomorrow it will happen to anyone shame on them a lot of the media are pitting this as a war between Jews and Muslims, but there are voices yeah. who are, are supportive of Israel's yeah. fight against this terrorism. Of course, uh, they're, they're saying it's, it's a, a war between Islam, uh, Islam and, uh, and Jews, but we know it's not the reality. And so much more people actually in our region understanding the terror happening because of Hamas. And they understand why it's important for Israel to, to de defend itself.